डॉक्टर सुधाकर बरबड़े असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस स्विचिंग टेक्निक्स विच आर यूज इन कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क्स लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब वॉट इज सर्किट स्विचिंग contents in the following slides we will discuss the contents all these are related with the communication network and the switching let us have a look at figure 1 which is of a communication network we have these uh, nodes node a b total five nodes are there c d and e a wants to communicate with remaining four also b may want to communicate with remaining four so this way any terminal wants to communicate with any other terminal so that is also called as a end station so these are end station and these wants to communicate with each other but to facilitate this what we require is a communication network shown in this uh, circle six different nodes are there which are interconnected and by which the message from say a end station can be transmitted to e through different nodes in the communication network so this is the basic model of the switched communication network and various switching techniques are used for example if a wants to communicate with c as we can see here a wants to communicate with c using this communication network then which nodes are involved in that we can find out then there are multiple paths available so the data can be transferred in different ways or different paths so one of the path just i will let you know from station a to node 1 then node 2 then node 6 uh, then node 5 and then finally to c so this is one of the path another path is node 1 to 3 to 5 and finally to see so there are different paths available so with which path is chosen that depends upon the switching technique used let us again the purpose of this network is to provide a switching facility that will move data from node to node until it reaches the destination that is what our aim is again node to node links are of higher bandwidth that means the inside the communication network e each node is connected to every other node that's why these links are of higher bandwidth and to make maximal use of the bandwidth we use fdm that is frequency division multiplexing or tdm time division multiplexing techniques to uh, improve the performance of a channel now let's see what are the different switching techniques there are main three switching techniques that is uh, circuit switching message switching and packet switching so in this lecture we will discuss more on this uh, circuit switching and in the next lecture we will see the other techniques circuit switching consist of a dedicated path between two stations that means a uh, uh, link is there between source station and destination station in circuit switch network before actual transfer of data these network nodes are connected in such a way that it forms a path between source and destination and each physical line can have many logical channels and a dedicated logical channel is associated with a particular uh, 
uh, communication. Now let us see the how circuit switching works. Circuit switching involves three phases. First, that is circuit establishment. Second, data transfer. And third, circuit disconnect. These are the three steps required for circuit switching to transfer data from source to destination. There are multiple paths from source station to destination and this allows us to improve the reliability of the uh, network. So circuit establishment is done before actual data transfer is done and after circuit is established then data transfer occurs. What type of network it is, whether it is handling analog signals or digital signals depends upon that but the circuit switching concept remains same for analog uh, data as well as uh, digital data. The connection between the two DTs which are communicating with each other through this communication network is generally a full duplex one. Then the last phase of circuit switching is circuit disconnect. So this is also necessary for the purpose that the link which was used for transferring data should be released for the uh, new DTs. So this uh, in this terminate connection at the end of the data transfer and also the signals must be propagated to deallocate all the resources those are dedicated for this connection. Now let us have a question. The data transfer from source to destination is full duplex or half duplex? You pause the video and answer the question. You might have answered the question and the answer is in circuit switch network the data transfer takes place between source and destination in full duplex form. Now, to connect each DT, for example, here we have taken uh, eight uh, terminals, eight terminals. So, we require a matrix of eight by eight, eight rows are there and eight columns are there. So, the connection is established between every input and every other output. The physically separate paths are provided for each of the each of these links by a crossbar matrix. This is called crossbar matrix in space division technique. So in space division technique this is called a crossbar matrix. What happens here is a connection can be established between a vertical line and a horizontal line as we saw here. For example if row 3 for example, this row 3 and column 8, this switch must be closed so that there can be a connection between 3 and 8. As the number of cross points grows with the square of the number of attached stations, the complexity of the switching network increases and the solution to the problem is multi-stage space division. So, total 40 cross points are there in this network. But if you implement in a single stage then we would require 64 cross points. Advantages of circuit switching? In end to end link bandwidth is fixed and it does not decrease. So with the fixed bandwidth we get uh, data communication. In dedicated link, delay is constant and so there is no congestion occurs. So congestion occurs only when there is a huge traffic but here since delay does not vary, the bandwidth remains same and that is why the congestion does not occur. Disadvantages? Circuit establishment and circuit disconnect adds extra overhead and delay. So we know there are three steps 
so the first step is circuit est uh, establishment so that adds extra overhead and it uh, causes a delay also it has got constant uh, data rate which does not allow bursty data and third is channel capacity is dedicated for the duration of the connection even though no data is being communicated so dedicated channel is uh, goes west if you don't transfer the data so these are my references data communication by professor a paul nptel lecture number 19 from uh, and the chapter is switching techniques thank you very much